15 pixels and hit delete and then just control D and I just blend it in okay now on the new layer hit control shift alt E and go to filter distort displace use default settings and select a PSD what the heck Select a PSD. If you don't have a PSD, just put a make a new one, make a new document, and put a renter in the middle or to the left, and just put some C4Ds in the background. And yeah, if you do have a PSD, make sure you select one with a lot of um, effects. Okay, now you're gonna erase where the render is supposed to be. And just and just erase what looks bad. You can see you can see a lot of effect over here, which makes the sig look pretty nice. But just fade these little just click like once on them or twice on these little things around him to make it look pretty good. Okay, now you just take the render layer below that and bring it up to the top. Now, you're going to do a gradient map. Just go to, um, click below the render layer to do this and, or, never mind, just select the render layer again. Go to, gra uh, click this and go to gradient map and do black and white. If your colors are not automatically black and white, click that and click OK and set this layer to luminosity. If you're an intermediate user or advanced, if you're if you're advanced and you're still in this, just lower the opacity to what you want. But if you're a beginner, just leave it at 100 because that's what I'm going to leave it at. And I'm going to bring this uh random layer up and control J it twice and unhide the top two and select the bottom and I'm going to take my smudge tool or my eraser tool and erase his head okay take the smudge tool and smudge outwards don't smudge next to his head as it will look bad and keep smudging out smudge in circles down like right beneath his head and smudge out again Out, and then set this layer to linear dodge okay unhide the next layer erase his head again and smudge again outwards as far as you can my strength is at 50 percent if you wanted to know circles small circles and out again Okay. And now that you have that, set this layer to linear dodge again. Unhide the next layer. And if you can, touch it up a bit. And put a little more effect out there. Okay, now that you have that, make a new layer. Control Shift Alt E, go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and set it to 2.0. And set the layer to Lighten, and lower the opacity to 90. Okay, now uh, that looks pretty good. Um, control J, the render layer, bring it up to the top. Make it visible, go to filter, blur, motion blur, and set it to 999 and angle 0. Click OK. Set the layer to overlay. And as you can see, there's this line here. I don't know why that is there. 
let me just see if I just control jade or make a new layer control shift alt e filter blur motion blur hold on why is that that line there well I'm just gonna skip that step cause that does not look good okay so whatever um uh, now that you have that do a gradient map go to violet green orange and select ok and put it to soft light and put that to 29% for opacity y opacity and as you can see just put a little more color in there okay now you make new layer and D to reset colors X to switch them back and forth and in white mine's lagging right now because I can't click anything or if I click anything it'll lag really bad so I'll just let this stop lagging See, you can't see my brush here. So, hold on. See, even the file edit, these are not selecting or highlighting, I mean. So, once this loads. Well, anyways, once it loads, just get your brush tool and get a 300 or 200 pixel brush and just wait for me. going what the wow okay that okay now that I got that I'm gonna I'm gonna select a 200 pixel brush and click oh, and just like click twice in there and click outside of the sig over his head make sure it's over his head and below him okay and put that layer to overlay yeah make a new layer and in black And it's lagging again. No, it's not. Then what the? F okay. Anyways, in black, two in the corners, and just the rest out here. And set this to overlay. You don't want it to get black too fast, dark too fast. You want it to naturally flow in so see how it's just going right into black I'm just gonna lower the opacity to about 72 and fixing that up a bit I'm just gonna erase like that you can see it looks somewhat better except for those but whatever. Well, I guess that's probably why it's already dark right there. That's naturally dark. So if your ha if your uh sig has a naturally dark spot, just try not to brush that part.